Hello, Internet! As some of you may know, I'm a really big baseball fan. My team is the Atlanta Braves, even though I live in Ohio. And since I was 11 years old, my favorite player, no question, has always been Chipper Jones. Now, if you pay any attention to baseball at all, you'll know that at the beginning of the 2012 season, Chipper announced that this was the last year he was going to play. He was going to retire at the end of the season. And so this year has been kind of a farewell tour of sorts for him. Just about every park he played in gave him some kind of gift or a tribute on the Jumbotron, the last game that he played in their park. And for Chipper's fans, it's been really awesome to see how much people all across the baseball world admire and respect him. He's a wonderful player, and people have just started referring to him as future Hall of Famer Chipper Jones. He won't even be eligible to be on the Hall of Fame ballot for another five years since he's just retired, but everybody knows he's going to get in. He's that good. Now one of the problems with being a fan of a team that's so far away from you is that I only get to see them play every once in a while. We try to get to go see the Braves when they play in Cincinnati or when they play in Pittsburgh because those cities are only a few hours away from where I live. And we did see the Braves in Atlanta once. Now for the last six or seven years, Chipper has been plagued by a lot of nagging injuries. His knee, his oblique, different things like that. And I kind of felt like I was cursing Chipper a little bit. Before the beginning of October, I had only seen Chipper play once in regular season games. Even though I've seen the Braves play, seven or eight regular season games. We even went to try to see Chipper in Cincinnati at the beginning of this season back in May and he was injured. But the Braves last regular game this season was in Pittsburgh on October 3rd. So my whole family took the day off work and we went to Pittsburgh to see the game. We were really bummed when it started because Chipper was not in the lineup. He was resting his knee and his back for the really important playoff game, ridiculous, stupid, terrible, awful, Bud Selig must die playoff game that was coming up in two days. Talk about that later. We weren't surprised that they did put him in as a pinch hitter. And this is how that happened. <laughs> Are you excited about this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? I couldn't tell. Just a little bit. so awesome. It was so exciting to see Chipper get a hit and to get all the way around the bases and score. The Braves won the game and I think it's safe to say that even the Pittsburgh fans were willing to give the Braves that last game. And I won't lie, I cried at the end of the game. A little bit. Or a lot. I just get really passionate about baseball and Chipper has kind of been a symbol of like my childhood and a constant through all of my growing up years and now he's retired and it makes me sad. It also makes me really really angry that he didn't get to play in the, pl the real playoffs at all because let's not even talk about that ridiculous trumped up fourth round of playoff game where the third place Braves had to play against the fifth place 
Cardinals, and the Cardinals won that one single game, and so the Braves didn't get to go to the playoffs. Angry. Anyways, I wanted to share that story with you and that footage. Um, if you're a baseball fan, I hope you're somehow managing to enjoy this postseason. And um, I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody. See, even the doctor's a Braves fan.